Okay, so we purchased Ableton Live. Now we had to log into Ableton.com, go into my account, and download the software and authorize it right away. So once we download the software in the application folder, we'll still need to download packs, all these packs right here. There are close to 66 packs, if I'm not mistaken, maybe a little bit more. And all these packs are actually close to 134 gigabyte, which is a lot of space. So we had to save it on external hard drive, so that way it doesn't occupy as much space on our main drive, and our computer does a better performance. Okay, uh, let me save. This is the sample that comes with the software. So I'm gonna save it uh, just temporarily on my documents. I'm just gonna label sample song. So now I'm gonna go into the packs and as you can see there it says 66 pack available if i click on that folder notice that all the packs are being grayed out so that means that needs to be downloaded but i already downloaded so i need to resync them so what we gotta do now is click on preference and then we're gonna go into the library tab and then we're gonna click where it says installation folder for packs and let's click on browse location of user library you're gonna leave it the way it is Okay, so now I'm gonna select the hard drive where I want to save those packs, which is Backup Plus, and I'm gonna select the folder, which is Ableton Sound Pack. Select that and, and click Open. But before you click Open, I'm gonna show you that I have already saved on this hard drive. So I'm just gonna click Open because I need to reinstall them, or maybe just I, I just need to reroute them, actually, because they're already there. If you wouldn't have download these uh, packs, this will be empty, so you have to create a new folder that is called Ableton Sound Pack. And then I click open, and it's already set to go. So notice that this message says move existing packs to the new installation directory. So I say yes, and then now all my previous packs are already uh, linked to my Ableton Live software. So I notice right here it says 15 updates and 9 available packs. So we need to install them and if we click on updates, all we gonna do is press on the arrow down and then it's gonna start loading. Once they load, I can proceed with the installation. So I'm gonna proceed and install Bombastic and you're gonna see on the finder the Bombastic is being updated because it's gonna show a folder now and with today's date and the time, that means it's been updating and that you have to do for every single one updates that you have available manually one by one so that's the only thing so this might take a little longer if you haven't downloaded all the packs yet so it might take an hour or so but it has to be done this is basically you know if you're moving your packs from computer to computer say if you had your friend's computer or to an iMac or to a desktop computer you know what I mean I mean you can just do this just relink the, f the files they are on the external hard drive and then it's faster. So the same thing I'm gonna do with the nine available packs and basically that's the way you save all your packs to an external hard drive to avoid clog your internal hard drive of your computer. All right guys and gals, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment if you have any questions, put a thumbs up and I'll see you next video.